All right. Once we're aboard, we find whatever's broadcasting the Reaper signal and shut it down. Tally's our expert on Geth software. She'll be handling hacking and security. Your expertise with the Geth is a welcome addition, Tally. Edie. So... a body? It has proven useful. I hope it doesn't cause you concern. Not unless you go crazy and decide to overthrow the humans. If I decide to overthrow the humans, you will be the first to know. Good to see you again, Tally. You too, Caden. How's the Omni tool? Still using the logic arrest? It's still the best model. Not for running multiple attack processes simultaneously. You need a Nexus. Nexus shield enhancements are years behind the curve. That's why you overclock the microframe. Nice to meet you, Sparks. Sparks? Yeah, you've got lights in your... Uh... And you're kind of small and jumpy. It just came out. If you say so. We couldn't ask for a better expert. Thanks, Shadow Broker. Speaking of which, I see a lot of things in my new position. I can imagine. The temptation to violate your friend's privacy must be unbearable. You get used to it. Ready to infiltrate the Dreadnought? Indeed. Thanks, Shadow Broker. Speaking of which, I see a lot of things in my new position. I've heard a few things myself. Don't worry. I hope you and Shepard are happy together. Thank you, Tally. It means a lot to hear you say that. Ready to infiltrate the Dreadnought? Indeed. Thanks, Shadow Broker. Speaking of which, I see a lot of things in my new position. Anything we need to discuss? No, I just hope you two are happy. Thanks. Ready to hit the Dreadnought? Yes. Thanks, Shadow Broker. Speaking of which, I see a lot of things in my new position. See anything interesting? Relic technology interface, radiation diagnostics, Omnitool upgrade, all authorized by Project Haystrom. Hey, where'd you get... Nutriscan 2.2, Engine Master 3.6, Human Vessels Edition. Nerf Stim Pro? Let's go hit that Dreadnought. Whenever you're ready. Good to have you back, Tally. And maybe with another Dextro aboard, they'll get better Turian food. As long as it's sterilized. Dr. Michelle did get me some Dextro amino chocolate. You're welcome to it once we're back. She got you Turian chocolate? She said she saw it and thought of me. Why? Oh, nothing. Dr. Michelle did get me some Dextro amino chocolate. You're welcome to it once we're back. She got you Turian chocolate? She said she saw it and thought of me. Why? Watch yourself, Shepard. Sounds like a plan. Good to see you again, Lieutenant Commander Williams. I think we've got enough history to drop rank tally. Thanks, Ash. Ready to go shoot some geth? Just like old times. Good to see you again, Lieutenant Commander Williams. You sure about that? Definitely. We're all adults here. Of course. Oh, and congratulations on getting your big girl name. Thanks. I'm so glad you decided to help Shepard this time. Let's go shoot something. You sure about that? Any reason I shouldn't be? No. No, it's good to have you back. Thanks. Ready to go shoot some Geth? Oh, hell yes. You sure about that? Absolutely. I wish you two nothing but happiness, Ash. Oh. Well, thanks. Come on, let's go shoot some Geth. Just like old times. Good. So you're a real living Prothean? As opposed to a fake dead one? Uh... Okay. Shepard Commander, help us. Legion. Do you know this thing? Yes. It helped me fight the Collectors. It's on our side. But weren't all the Geth reprogrammed? Legion helped us fight the Reapers before. There's no way it would have agreed to this. Your caution is understandable. Once freed, we will submit to any restraints you deem necessary. I never thought I'd say this, but... 
It's good to see you again. Likewise, Creator Zora. Your caution is understandable. Once freed, we will submit to any restraints you deem necessary. That is extremely reasonable, Legion. Greetings, Edie. We did not expect you to gain license to operate a personal unit. Wait, you cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. I am familiar with the concept. The AI shackles Cerberus used to keep you under control. Yes. Used by organics, it is understandable. Forget to install this in a formerly independent unit is... unnecessary. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. Legion? But... you died during our attack on the Collector Base. That's not Legion, Shepard. Not really. It's a VI program, likely from a backup. My people used similar technology to create VI constructs of our dead. However you felt about Legion, that thing isn't real. I took a chance on Legion the first time, and it helped us. We are not Legion. Fine. Let's just get you out of there. If you're certain, Shepard, just remember, even it says it isn't Legion. Creator Talisora, you were familiar with this intelligence? Yes, we were friends. You are a creator. You would not trust again. Legion? But you died during our attack on the Collector Base. This unit is a reconstruction of the AI intelligence that served with your crew. You don't remember working with me? No, we only actively remember events that occurred before we left to investigate the old machines. I don't know, Shepard. Legion was on our side, but this thing isn't Legion. We only actively remember events that occurred before we left to investigate the old machines. If this unit does not contain memories of serving with the crew, it is not our ally, Shepard. No wonder the Quarians were having trouble. That ship is enormous. Hey, come on, Commander. You're gonna make Edie feel bad. It is 30% larger than an Alliance dreadnought. Tally? You're gonna like the view. Better than a vid? <laughs> Much. Tally would have loved seeing this. Well, let's win this one for her. How are you doing, Shepard? The lack of gravity is a little disorienting. The dreadnought has artificial gravity. You should be okay once you're on board. Until then, I'll make do with mag boots. Hey, take your time, Commander. We're fine until they, you know, look out a window. Geth don't use windows, remember? Structural weakness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the Gath are just sitting there saying, those organics would never try the no windows thing twice. Geth ships don't have windows. They rely on thermal scans for close range detection. <laughs> I'm immune to your facts and logic. Geth ships use thermal scans, not windows. If they could see us, they'd have destroyed us by now. Oh, well. That makes me feel better, thanks. Got it. You're cleared aboard. Thank you, Shepard. I will try to find a more convenient docking point next time. Next time? You okay, Commander? Better now. Were you worried about me? Thank you for having me over. Well, I don't actually know where I'm going. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, take a look at this. It's Admiral Zen's design. It transmits an energy pulse on contact that disrupts shields and synthetics. How come I don't get a new gun? Wouldn't find one in your size. I know people who would pay a great deal for this design. If the fleet survives, I'm sure it will need the money. I'm open to offers. That is much like using polonium-tipped rounds against organics, which is illegal. How fortunate that the same prohibition doesn't apply to synthetics. Sounds like the right tool for the job. Time to kick some synthetic ass. Should come in handy on a ship full of geth. I like it already. Against the geth, we need every advantage we can get. Looks impressive. I appreciate what you're doing here, Shepard. Well, I care deeply about the Quarian people. Hmm. Okay, what am I missing? Shepard and Tally became physically intimate during their fight against the Collectors. Too much information. Meeting between species, a pointless exercise. Thank you for the clarification, Edie. It's good to be back on the Normandy. Let me know if it's too quiet for you to sleep, and I'll find you someplace louder. Maybe we can talk about this when we're not on a damn Geth dreadnought. So, Shepard, how are you doing? No problems on my end. Hopefully we can get to the Drive Corps before your people lose more ships. Oh, yes. Um, I meant that, well, before you went to Earth, 
Shepard, Tally is referring to your physical intimacy during the fight against the Collectors. Thank you, Edie. Uh, I was there when you two had your thing, remember? Just get a room and work it out. Uh, if you like, I can give you two some privacy. I'm surprised they'd send you on this mission, Tally. Even admirals are expected to serve. I'm better at hacking than I am ordering ships around. Yeah, against an enemy dreadnought, your combat drone would just float there making that... noise. I missed you too, Garrus. Just don't let them put you behind a desk. I'm surprised they'd send you on this mission, Tally. Why? If I die, all they've lost is an exile. And when we succeed, you'll have the leverage to get your exile overturned. Here's hoping. Progress, Commander. We're getting there. Everything okay on your end? Quite. The guests sent reinforcements to the bridge, but they were quite amenable to one of my hacking routines. They're doing a lovely dance right now. In a moment, they're going to serve refreshments. I'm a little concerned about her. Admiral Zen's attitude towards synthetic life forms is a concern. So she's a little loco, huh? She's a bit eccentric. Her attitude doesn't inspire confidence. She's not all the way sane, is she? We'll keep you posted on our progress. Shepard out. All the time we spent fighting the Geth years ago, I thought we took care of them at the Citadel. Those Geth were heretics, a splinter group that worshipped the Reapers. Yeah, I read the file. I've served on a lot of ships, but nothing like this. The contours are all off. It's not built for organics. This ship design is almost quarian, but not quite. It's meant for synthetics, not organics. Synthetics do not care for organic ease of use or aesthetic beauty. In some cases, they actively oppose it. Reminds me of that collector ship I blew to hell. After we stopped them at the Citadel, never thought we'd have to worry about the Geth again. Those were from a splinter group known as the Heretics. Not all Geth worship the Reapers. Right, I saw the file. This ship is Fubar, Commander. The lines are all wrong. Nothing's in the right spot. Different species have different aesthetic tastes, but I agree. This design is alien. Intriguing. I found the geometric shapes intuitive and comfortable. I assumed you all felt the same. It's amazing to think that the Geth can load their intelligence directly into the ship. They could be all around us. I can detect the faint presence of Geth intelligences. Those not loaded into mobile platforms serve in the ship itself. Just as long as they stay inside the walls. Efficient. When you need manual labor, you load people into a body. When you don't, they're just part of the ship. Great. Now my skin is crawling. You should not join with a ship. You should command it. For all our cybernetic upgrades, I'll never understand integrating that completely into a system. Look at how much data the Dreadnought Central Processor is handling. No wonder the Quarians are getting outmaneuvered. They're way out of their league. Their threaded processing is remarkably effective. I would not be able to handle that much data alone. Amazing. Years beyond Alliance tech. I think it's handling information from all Geth everywhere. Not just another pretty face, huh? If we could get any of this to work with Alliance Tech, we could change this entire war. Do you ever wish you were like them, networked? No, I enjoy the freedom of intelligence without requiring consensus. You don't feel lonely, being the only AI on the Normandy? I have the opportunity to socialize with the crew, and I do so for curiosity or pleasure, not out of cognitive necessity, as the Geth do. In my cycle, a race called the Jar used machines, the Jatil, as synthetic symbiotes. The Reapers subjugated the Jatil as they had the Geth. Their mechanical swarms blotted out the sky. They were brutal, merciless. How'd you deal with them? We sent their star into supernova. Oh. Guess that's one way to do it. I believe the Jar would have thanked us. That's not really an option here. Not yet. I destroyed a system to take out the Alpha Relay. It wasn't an easy decision. My people did not rule the galaxy with pleasant words. Look, the signal's hitting all Geth processes. The Reapers have them completely under control. Just like when we fought them at the Citadel. Its structure is amazingly complex. It is unsurprising that the Quarians have been unable to disrupt it. All the more reason to take them out. Geth, Reapers, same shit, different pile. I transmitted what data we had to a few code breakers. I haven't heard anything back. We've tried jamming it, hacking it, and piggybacking garbage data to corrupt it. Nothing worked. So where are we headed? We're looking for an operations center. I can disable the Reaper command signal from there. Where's the closest one? Past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. Gah, vents. Always the vents. 
You did fine at the collector base. I got set on fire. This is Loco, taking out a Geth flagship. Look at this. You really think we can stop the Geth? We beat them before. We'll do it again. Do we really have a chance against the Geth, given their technical advantages? The Drive Corps. Impressive, as are their shields, I imagine. A core that size would provide impressive kinetic barriers. This would generate shields larger than anything the Torians have. No wonder the Quarians had trouble. These shields are massive, way ahead of anything we've got. That's putting it mildly. Look at that thing. Its shields must be as strong as a Reaper's. Let's find whatever they're using to transmit the signal. It is unfortunate that the Quarians chose to attack. Not how I wanted to play this either. It's this or lose the Quarians. Why the hell did they have to go pick a fight now? Let's just get them out alive. The Quarians mm. should never have attacked. What were they thinking? They're trying to reclaim their homeworld. Synthetics are always trouble, no matter the cycle. One of them helped me fight the Reapers. Legion. They just keep coming. They're throwing their lives away. There is no self-preservation in these machines. They're networked. The more we kill, the madder they get. We need this elevator back online. And it'd be easier to hack it without the gunfire. You managed in those vents at the collector base. Being on fire at the time was kind of an incentive. You have engaged the Geth previously, Shepard. Tactical advice? Any new Geth tricks I should know about? Disable their shields. And don't give them time to recharge. I thought I'd lost you. You were worried? You bet I was. You dying because the Geth overrode my hack? Think of my reputation. Yeah, you were worried. Come on, the drive course shouldn't be far. I'm all right. Good, hopefully we're done with elevators. You want me to virtually interact with the Geth? Cerberus conducted research on Geth human interfaces. They called it Project Overlord. We monitored their transmissions. I saw how it almost unleashed a rogue AI human hybrid on the galaxy. That's one way to get their attention, if it doesn't kill you. That's crazy. Shepard, you can't do this. That kind of tech isn't even on the market. This can't be safe. Such a connection is theoretically possible, although highly unusual. That's insane. You're talking about a virtual world built for synthetics. Hostile Geth synthetics. My people experimented with virtual consciousness. It did not end well. Machines can't be trusted. That's crazy. Do you robots actually go crazy? Not without provocation, Lieutenant. Guardian anti-fighter lasers. Looks like they're using ultraviolet frequencies, like the Solarians. No wonder the Quarians are getting whipped. Expensive. Bet it gives them an edge in close combat, though. If all Geth ships are equipped with these defenses, the failure of the Quarian attack is unsurprising. Definitely gives you an edge in a knife fight. When the fleet rushed the Dreadnought, those lasers carved right through our ships. Let's hope we don't find ourselves in close-range ship-to-ship combat. You okay? I will be. Thanks. Come on. Let's get to the op center before they lose more. A ship full of civilians. They never had a chance. Geth didn't waste time hunting these people down. It appears crash survivors had to engage the Geth. They came so far. The Geth probably came over the ridge. Not much of a fight. These poor people, they never had a chance. Damn. At least she went out fighting. Shepard, once we find the Alpha Girl, I advise we, I, we, 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 we. Edie, what's wrong? The jamming signal is strong closer to the tower. I am experiencing signal loss with my systems on the Normandy. Joker will look out for you. Of course. But the disconnection remains unpleasant. Could it be lag from your new body? It is unlikely, Tally. Lag usually lasts no longer than 5.2 milliseconds. We're getting closer to that jamming tower. I hope the Admiral is all right. There are so many Geth here already. Clean up, Cruz. The Geth never learned to take survivors. Geth must have been building up an army for a while. They've had three centuries alone down here. The usual. More Geth. The Geth just keep coming like, well. Machines? Predictable. Machines have always mistaken numbers for strength. Then I guess we're lucky they're not all wearing nukes for backpacks. Dada, they've built more Geth than we imagined. Be happy we haven't run into a Geth armature. Will do, ma'am. Were you around when the Alliance claimed that we'd wiped out the last major Geth outposts? Yeah. Intel was always a little underfunded. But if we just towed in some asteroids, you want to drop meteors on Rannoch? You'd make it unlivable. The dust would settle, and you've already got the suits. 
you'd turn half the planet into a crater. True. Meteors are hard to aim. Geth everywhere, civilians in trouble. Remind you of anything? Eden Prime? So much for the Alliance's story about the Geth being wiped out. No one knew how many Geth were still behind the Perseus Veil. Except maybe the Quarians. We tried to tell people the real story, but no one on the Citadel would listen to Quarians. Yeah, listening would have forced them to get off their asses. Battle data. The Geth are winning, but they're taking massive losses. The Reapers are controlling them and throwing them away. The Geth were fools to trust them. The Geth took the only option offering a possibility of survival. Like the Reapers care. The Geth made a deal with the Devil. Now they pay for it. If the Geth hadn't allied with the Reapers, the Quarians would have wiped them out by now. Anyone can make bad decisions when backed into a corner. Under Reaper control. Synthetics sacrificing synthetics. As long as they all die. If we wish to minimize casualties to both sides, we should hurry. Too many dead. We need to end this. Guess that deal with the Reapers isn't working out so well for them. We need to hurry. The Quarians can't hold out forever. Fueled machine system upgrades have enabled us to corrupt security routines. We are slowing them down. Using Reaper upgrades to fight the Reapers? Your Geth pal's either a genius or insane. I trust Legion, and right now we need the help. That thing isn't Legion anymore, Shepard. I don't think we can trust it. I don't think we have a choice. Your synthetic allies using Reaper code. That's a mistake. No, Legion's on our side. Never thought I'd hear you say that. Legion's Reaper upgrades have proven to be effective. Good. Right now, we could use the help. I know that thing's supposed to be working with us, but Reaper code? Agreed. The Geth are dangerous enough, even without the Reaper upgrades. We need the help. Legion's Reaper upgrades are quite useful. I hope so. It's risky. That thing has its own agenda. I don't trust it. I know Legion's on our side, but Reaper code? We need it right now. Afterwards, we'll see. The Reaper upgrades are very effective. Not sure how much of Legion is still in there, but we need the help. Why are there tables down here? This is the original facility where the Geth were created. You'd expect it would have preserved it as a holy place. It was. Then the old machines placed their base here to utilize this area's power and data processing capability. How many people died because of what happened here? God, you can feel it. It's rare to see the sites where history began. I can feel the weight in the air. Quarosh, curse of the people. Our children are afraid to say the name of this place. The machines will end where they began. Appropriate.